keep a hold of that rein and just sit back and just relax keep the inside leg inside rein make the bad thing difficult and the good thing easy that's it just keep her going just keep your leg on keep that inside rein inside leg do not give her that rein sit and tell she's good but wait till you're by that pole because all that that whole corner of this school is where she'll play up because she thinks that's home time so wait until you're past that that is the bit she's to work most right now she can tell us she's a good girl and that was clever and whatever else but while you get from A round past the gate to the pole she's working there should be nothing in her head that makes her think I can right so remember those reins are your communication they're your telephone lines as soon as you drop that you're hanging up on her so you need to keep that there and keep that inside leg on keep her bending round your leg as a pole so that she's not got the chance to move her body the other way keep that rein on don't give her that you should be able to feel that that should be a telephone line now you should always have that there keep her concentration on you that's all right good girl remember it's only the two things you're looking for is the relaxation and the responsive and to be responsive the very first thing is relaxation as soon as she's relaxed you can work with her that's okay it's okay just relax inside rain again put her in a circle right she's just at it so put her forward inside rain inside leg move her forward you need to be stricter with yourself and stricter with her and i don't mean stricter as in being harsher i just mean stricter as in make it so much clearer black and white large and print give her no excuses to say i don't know what you mean right so inside rain inside leg keep that on her and just relax inside rain inside leg look where you're going and keep her moving forward inside drain inside leg get her face in the way you want and drive her forward as soon as you get her face in the way you want her to get her forward that's it forward forward inside drain inside leg and forward just squeeze her squeeze her squeeze her till she moves keep her moving keep her moving past the pole keep her moving keep her moving tell her she's good now she's got to learn this this is a very you're not asking her to do anything difficult, right? She can't take in too many things because she's only three, right? She's, she, her brain, so you need to start from the very beginning, right? Do it in little blocks, right? So first of all, she has to be facing the way you want her to, right? So inside rein, inside leg. She has to be concentrating on you, so she has to be listening to you and not drifting out through her shoulder. Right, now squeeze her forward, keep her going, keep her going. That's it, keep her moving. Keep her past the pole and now tell her she's clever. Right. she'll soon get the hang of it because she'll soon realise that if she starts dancing about and starts doing silly things at the gate she's just going to, you're just going to keep the same question going until she responds and then she'll realise that she's clever and it will work because her brain can't take in too much just now so it's literally the simplest things and you're trying to make it as simple and as clear as you can and you've got to be calm, clear and confident in this rain so just relax, you're in full control inside rain, inside leg block that outside shoulder, don't let her drift through her shoulder as soon as she starts to drift that way, her brain goes that way. You have to keep her thinking about you, keep her together, keep her under you. Right, just make her move forward and do a circle, do something different down here so that she doesn't think of the corner as being something to react differently to. Ride her all the way around the school. So if you if you just ride the gate differently from every other part she will react differently to the gate if you're doing nothing around here so constantly ask her questions keep her brain going don't give her that opportunity that's it and praise is one of the best things it's gone more to that than anything else there's no point getting on something and just giving it trouble every time there's something bad and ignoring it the rest of the time or you have to praise it when it's good and just ignore it when it's bad redirect its thinking because she's not being bad She's just young and she's trying to see what works, what doesn't work, what she can get away with, what she can't. And it's your place just to say to her, look, my way is much easier than whatever idea you come up with. And just make her feel that. Because if she doesn't believe that herself, then she's going to try things every day of her life, you know. And some days will be worse than others. Some days she'll quite be perfect and other days she'll be a bit more difficult, as you well know. <laughs> but it's just keeping it plain and simple, large print, black and white make the bad thing difficult and the good thing easy. Praise her when she's good, ignore it when it's bad, redirect its thinking. Good girl, Rosie. Good girl. You do something different, give her something else to think about. 
Now, remember, you should never do half a school without asking a question. You know, constantly just ask questions. And if she doesn't get the question, then rather than just restating like the last few words, take her right back to the beginning again. You know, you've got all the time in the world just now to teach her this. You know, this is the foundation of a horse rather than just schooling a horse out of habit. You know, this is the complete foundation of the horse that you're going to, she's going to become. So take the time it takes. You know, it's there's no limit on what you should be doing at a certain time. Every horse is completely different. Well done. So even the gate, if she doesn't get the gate, if she starts doing silly things, rather than just keep fighting her or keep moving her, mm-hmm. just completely restate the whole question. You know, there's nothing worse than someone asking something and you're not understanding it and then they just say the last two words. It doesn't help. You know, it just say the whole question again, stop her, turn around, take her back to it and just restate it all again. Well done. Good girl, Rosie. And now we're looking for relaxation and then responsiveness. So get her relaxed first, right? So you relax. Just play with your... Right, so just turn around and just don't avoid the gate or she'll avoid it, right? Go right out to the outside track. Keep the inside bend, keep that inside leg on, block that outside shoulder. Stay relaxed, look where you're going. You're in full control of it. Throw it you, you can't cope with Caroline. Right, you're absolutely fine with her. You just need to be calm, confident and clear. Well done. That's all right. That's okay. Just relax. Just relax. Inside drain, inside leg. Just relax. It's all right. You're all right. Inside drain, inside leg. That's okay. And just send her forwards. That's all right. Just talk to her. Remember, your legs and your hands aren't the only aid you have. You've also got your seat, your body, your voice. You can use all these things to pass on a message to her. And especially her voice is very good for relaxing her. So talk to her. It will relax you as well as it will relax her. Now you're absolutely f- Get to the outside track, don't avoid the gate. Take her right out, keep that inside bend. Keep her on the inside, keep that inside leg on. She should be bending round your leg like a pillar. Her whole body, that's it, keep her going. Well done. Keep her w- driving forward, drive her forward, drive her forward. Keep her moving, well done. And tell her she's clever. Well done. That was really good, yeah? Yeah, just stand there and give her a big pat. Well done. That was really good. See, so the problems you hit when you first come in, you've cleared up. Right, you're absolutely fine. The important thing with young horses isn't to tackle everything in the one day. It's just, if they hit a problem at the start, don't start thinking about everything else you need to do. Just focus on that and get her fine with that and then you can move on to something else the next time. Now, you can't overload her brain or else she'll just not take anything in. You know, it doesn't matter what she's doing with her feet, it doesn't matter what she's doing with her head, it doesn't matter what she's doing with her body, as long as she's walking by the gate in a calm, relaxed, responsive manner, then that's all you're looking for this time. Well done. Well done. And then praise her to the hills when she's good. And that'll make her come in next time thinking, you know what, that was quite nice last time, what can I do to get that response again? You know, there's no point in getting angry at them and fighting them and frust- getting frustrated with them when they're bad. But if you treat them fantastic when they're good, then they'll look forward to that more than anything else. You know, you don't want to come in here and get into an, into an argument every time. Because that will just make her not want to come in here at all, you know. But if you always come in and, yeah, you've had a problem, everyone does. You know, just calmly, confident, work away at it. You know, and she's, um, you're doing really, really well. And see, that that's the worst she'll do. You know, she's honestly, she's absolutely fine. She's just, that's all right. That's okay. No, stay on. <laughs> See if she speaks like that and you jump off. Next time she'll be like, oh, that worked. Next she can jump. Good girl, Rosie. Give her a wee bit of her head, let her stretch. It's important for her to relax when she comes into the arena and when she's leaving. So she, that's the, the last thing you do with them will be the last thing she remembers. So the last thing is her spooking and you getting off. Next time she'll be like, oh yes, I've got it worked. That's it. Well done. Good girl, Rosie. Clever girl. Yeah, but give her loads of pats first. Make a big fuss here. You know, it's the best teaching method ever. Good girl, Rosie.